I asked Coach if, if the most impressive thing was holding a team averaging 90 to 63 points. What about uh, the defensive effort, especially in the third quarter against them? Mm -hmm. um, we came out of uh, halftime really emphasizing that she had 19 points, and we knew she was going to do that. So um, we tried to stay up on her and not let her shoot open threes like she was in the first half. Your ability uh, to not only score, but score and rebound and, and play defense and stuff. How much do you think this year, your progression over last year, obviously you're playing a lot more, but mm. can, can you kind of feel it yourself and confidence-wise maybe at an all-time high for you? Yeah, I definitely feel a lot more confident than last year. Um, as a freshman, you're just kind of getting used to stuff, and it's so much different than high school. So I think just having that year under my belt has helped me a lot for this year. Ask Coach, too, if, if yourself and Katie Lou and, and Gabby, uh, as much as you guys had a pretty you know decent-sized role last year, but is this team now where you feel this is our team and this is our mm -hmm. time and what we need to prove and, and you know not look back to last year at all? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm really proud of this team because we came in with you know people thinking mm -hmm. one thing, but um, I knew we had a good team. I know the girls on the team, and I'm really proud of what we've been doing so far. Why have you been able to do what you've done so far? Um, a lot of reasons, I'm sure. Why have we? Yeah, why have you been able to do, mm -hmm. despite what people thought coming in well, we're not quite sure, you guys have come out and have played really well. Yeah, I think we've kind of had to play with a chip on our shoulder because um, we lost a lot of talent last year, so we came in knowing that we're even though we're not as talented, we're going to have to work harder to accomplish you know, the same thing. Mm -hmm. Talk about the offensive efficiency you guys had in the third quarter. Mm -hmm. Um, we kind of we try to push in transition more because we know that's you know our best game is to get up the floor. And you were able to turn a lot of their turnovers into easy points as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What about what about when you guys go in transition? See, when you go, seems like you guys go in waves. You can get whatever you want mm -hmm. the way you pass the ball and everything. Yeah, that's um, a big part of our game. We try to get steals in transition because you know those are easy buckets and it really hurts the other team. You said rebounding is, is about effort. Uh, it really is. And, and I think both you and Gabby in particular have the ability to read balls off the rim. I asked Coach about that, and he said, you know, there are those that kind of stand there and let the ball come to them, and there are those who go out and get it. And you, you and Gabby both really go get the ball and sometimes get to a spot before they get the ball gets there. Um, not something very easy to do, but something you both do very well. Thank you. Um, yeah, like you said, I think it's trying to just like reading the ball, seeing, you know, where it's going to go before it goes there. I guess. Uh -huh. uh, are you are you surprised at all? I mean, you have confidence in, in, in yourself and some of the other girls, but the fact that you've been able to do again what you've done, I, I know Coach said in the beginning he didn't know what to expect. Mm -hmm. Did you truly know what to expect, or are you mm -hmm. and maybe some of the other girls a bit surprised by what you've been able to do? Mm -hmm. I didn't know exactly what to expect but I knew the potential that was there and it was really just up to us about how we you know, executed that and I think like I said we've done a good job so far. Thank you. Thanks. Can you talk about the plays that uh, Crystal shows in these big games? Mm -hmm. uh, Crystal's a great passer. That's one of her strengths and I think she's you know shown that, proven that so far. Just staying in the lane helping on the drives. I think that just they didn't really know if it was a zone or man so I think that got them rattled a little bit. It's your second start. Um, do you feel more comfortable already? Um, after having one start under your belt? Or? I'm trying to. Uh, before the game, I talked to Lou about it, just not uh, letting the moment just get me overwhelmed and uh, come out and play strong. She just wanted me to play kind of like I did in the Baylor game, just play strong, not have any worries about making a mistake or anything like that. When you were told you were going to get your first start in the last game, what was your kind of your reaction um, since you said say you might have been a little overwhelmed um, at the jump? Uh, same thing, just go and make plays don't don't be tentative um attack be in attack mode i think that's just the thing that's been my problem this year is just not being involved in things defensively or offensively and once i do that i feel like the game just opens up for everybody and you know obviously you have a bunch of scores on this team and you are clearly capable of being a, a leading scorer for a game but what do you think your role is um for the team um, when you're starting First, to go make plays on the defensive end, because when we do that and we go get in transition, I think that's where I'm best in the transition game, finding people or go score. So doing that first and then offensively just getting the ball where it needs to be, uh, right play at the right time, the right pass, and then just putting people where they need to be. How different is it to start versus, you know, just coming in? I mean, is it is it that much of a difference? I think or? it is. For me, um, <clears throat> instead of just coming into a tone that's already been set, being able to set a tone for myself, um, 
and then just get the feel. I feel like the game comes better once if I start. And you're the one that has to set the tone, so that's a lot of responsibility yeah. for you to to have to do that. Did you? Is that what you're feeling when you're you know a little bit nervous or whatever you know before the game? It's or? not really nerves. It's just when they give me the look and they tell me you need to go do this. It's like okay, and instead of just being thrown into it, being able to just start that way and then get it from the jump is better. Is your international experience what keeps you so you. poised on the court? Mm -hmm. Um, I think so. I think it helps. Um, again, just for one, playing against the players already and then playing with them now, I think it helps. Um, and then just the physicality of the game because I feel like that's been the biggest jump in college basketball. So I think the international play has helped me. What is surprising to you? Is it that you've been able to beat so many ranked opponents? Is it that you've been able to be consistent even as a young team? What, what are you surprised that, that you guys have done? Um, I don't know, I think just every day in practice at the beginning of the year, it was kind of us trying to figure out how we were going to be a team under coach and the right way. And I think not the biggest surprise, but the best accomplishment for us is that when we play these games, he'll say stuff about us looking like a UConn team or like teams that he used to coach before. And that just shows that we are doing it the right way. And we're not just winning these games because of other factors, but it's because we're deciding to win each game and um, we're taking control. So I think that's just the biggest thing that's been kind of not surprising, but better. <laughs> just got a couple more minutes. Can you talk about the plays that Crystal's shown in these big games? Oh yeah, she's been she's been really good. I think she's trying to embrace that role of coming in to be that point guard, especially when Sanai is out and the fact that we lost um, Mo. But she's had her ups and downs like any freshman, but she's shown that she can be there for us and be a consistent person that we can count on. Um, so I think just moving forward, she's going to get better and better. And games like this just shows that she's there and she can play against the best players in the country. Do you think it's something that came with her international experience that you guys you know, played with her in the um, Maybe. I mean, it's, it's always different for each player, but she's more experienced than other people and she shows that kind of on the court, that she has that, um, has that ability to kind of keep the court calm and just run the whole offense, so that's probably from that, but also just practicing the way she does every day. She's got to get consistent, and she knows that, and um, the way she steps up in this game just shows that she's going to keep doing that for us.